What's up, boys and girls? Another edition of Ball's Kitchen here. Volume 2. Going to be making some tostadas. We got all the uh, ingredients there. Going to be chopping up some tomatoes. <clears throat> all nice and thin. Making sure they're going to be looking good on the plate. Here right here is the jalapeno peppers now. Make sure you wash your hands because you do not touch your willy after dealing with some chilies. That's just terrible. <clears throat> we got the pork. We got the chicken. We got the hamburger meat going on there. You add some Louisiana, Hawaiian uh, barbecue sauce to that dish right there. Breaking up the beef. Add some taco seasoning from Value Check. Shout out to Justin Major, doing a good job there. Put that in there. You just all make it look good, you know? Just add some love to it. That's all you need to do. Turn around here, you know, the secret ingredient. We've got some beer. Add to your taco meat. Shout out to Derek Shepler, taught me this about 10 years ago. Ever since then, I've been using it every day. Excellent choice. Then glug, glug, glug. Drink that beer, baby. Drink that beer. Come back over here. Give it a little spin job. And then after that, here's the finishing product with all the proteins. I'm going to come back here. Pop open what's going to be here. The refried bean, the beans. Then we got, boom. We got the uh, nacho cheese. Essential. And then, boom. We got the uh, Spanish rice coming out the microwave all hot and fresh. Then we got the tostadas. Already got one there with refried beans uh, hang hanging out on that tostada. We're going to be adding some meat to that. Nacho cheese, of course. Um, after that, oh, a little swirly action. Chicken on top of that tostada. We're going to be having a beef. We're going to be having a chicken. We're going to be having a pork tostada. Now, here's the uh, some more barbecue sauce on the pork tostada. Some Spanish rice. The idea for triple threat nachos is to have all kinds of different flavor profiles going on throughout your different tostadas. We got some pork, which is sauteed with some Louisiana barbecue sauce, Hawaiian style. After that, we got some corn. Corn is, I love corn. I don't care who you are. You better love corn. You better love corn. Okay, some more nacho cheese sauce. Mm hmm. Coming at you right here, we're going to add some fresh vegetables, we got some red onion, we got some green onion, we got some white onion on top of the green onion that I cut because it was just awesome, and then we're just going to add it to there, you know, just make it look pretty. I mean, it's just all about presentation. When you put it down in front of somebody, you want to make it look good. You want to make it look good. All right there, there we go right there. After that, we're going to go ahead and add some jalapenos. Make sure you wash your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be touching that willy with the chilies. A little pepperoncini action coming at you. Again, some more flavor, flavor profiles are just adding, adding on top of that. Triple threat nachos. A little black olives. Love black olives. Green olives, you know, okay. Black olives, love them. A little sour cream. Oh, yeah. Have to have sour cream. Top that off there. And after that, we got a little salsa action going on. Love the salsa. And then um, after the salsa, we're going to go ahead and put some spicy jalapeno mustard on that bad boy right there. And then here's the finished product, boys and girls. You know, you can use uh, whatever ingredients you want, but these are definitely mine. And just uh, enjoy your uh, nachos and watch the football game. And you guys just have a great evening. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night.